day, good day, good day. Ah, yes, how the holly honk are ya? <laughs> yeah, we're doing a one-off Wednesday and it's a Christmas edition. That's right. All right, hope you and all yours are having a great Christmas. Check this out. Yes, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the one and only that I have of this baby here. Let's talk a little bit about it, all right? Christopher Radko, I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, some of you might be um, familiar with Christopher Radko's uh, works. Um, I, I did not pay $42 for it. That's kind of the uh, going price, though. They are very expensive if you uh, go on eBay or um, anywhere like that and take a look at Christopher Radko this is um, yeah fine glass ornaments for all occasions they are very spendy so there you go uh, this is not a toy <laughs> this is fragile glass Design glass ornaments made in Poland, Germany, Italy, and Czechoslovakia. So there you go, uh, star symbol and registration trademark. Yeah. So there you go. Have you ever heard of this? Well, um, I guess he's an American lad. And as story goes, and I'm going to try to carefully open this up. I've had it opened before. But it's uh, very delicate. I like to keep the packaging and things like that. But I got to show you this. Uh, Christopher Radko um, is still alive and kicking, even though uh, in recent days and, and as a uh, general rule, he is not one to be in the limelight. Um, he started this company. Catch this. The Radko company, the Radko family was one night disturbed by the Christmas tree falling over and crashing and making a horrendous noise and destroying thousands of their Polish glass-blown artwork. And uh, so he, Mr. Christopher, went about to replace these family looms and uh, was not satisfied with what he found. So, uh, as they say, necessity is the creator of all inventions. He started making his own. And, uh, yeah, wow, look at this thing. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Uh, if you don't uh, recognize this, uh, this is a discovery. Look at there, big old Land Rover on the back. Anyway, so in about 1985, Mr. Christopher Radko started doing blown glass ornaments. And they are everything from, oh, cookie jars, Christmas trees. Oh, yeah, if you want to take a look at something interesting, yeah, take a look at that like on eBay or something like that. Uh, just a very interesting uh, um, um, yeah, item or, or uh, va venue to look at. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, so he started making these uh, to replace uh, his family's heirlooms, and it just took off on him. And uh, now these are kind of hard to come by now because... Um, he left the company in good hands, they say, uh, and you really can't find much about Christopher. Like you said, he's been kind of, uh, uh, in, in hiding or, or not in the limelight, but he left the company in 2005. So, uh, after that, then he kind of took off, uh, his, uh, his design team kind of took over after that. And uh, they do, I believe, produce still uh, Christmas ornaments to this day, but he is no longer involved in the, in the company. So there you go. So 1985 took off, and before you know it, 
18 million fine uh, European glass ornaments were on the market. So mainly they were, uh, they do 1950s, 1940s uh, deco type uh, uh, in, uh, ornaments. Uh, very, very nice. This is very light, although this is heavy as far as an ornament because it's so big. Um, just really neat. There's Mr. Snowman. He's going and uh, got a scarf blown in the wind. Just a really nice, uh, just a really nice, unique addition to my Land Rover collection. Uh, these suckers, oh my goodness, cheese balls. We're talking cheese balls and logs. These suckers can call up for upwards to a hundred plus dollars and uh, for some reason I got this one uh, relatively cheap I did pay a lot of money for it like I say not 42 bucks but I paid a pretty penny I had to have one before they were gone I had seen one of these in the store in the mall and uh, heard about him and I seen one but I didn't buy it at that time because the retail price at that time was horrendous I did get this off eBay uh, for a very decent price. So, very, very interesting. Happy holidays to you and your family. Merry Christmas. And uh, wow, there we go. Just a quick one of Wednesday on a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, where whenever you're watching this. But just a very, very neat uh, look at the details. <laughs> they got running gear and everything the offset pumpkins i mean these people are are uh precise in all the you know from glass blowing to making sure that they got the running gear nice and uh, the wheels yeah i suppose those could be if you squint they'll look like land rover wheels but just a very nice uh, i believe that's uh, gonna be a series two the Land Rover with those kind of style headlights on there, but just a very, very, very neat uh, ornament for us to look at during this Christmas holiday season. Uh, once again, happy holidays from everyone here at Roverland Channel, your friend Dan O. Hope that you have enough eggnog and uh, lay off the cheese balls. Let somebody else have some cheese and crackers, all right? But the other thing is, uh, I want you, uh, 2020 is right around the corner. We're looking for more subscribers, so go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then we can just keep growing this channel and sharing fabulous different things all the time. Anything and everything Land Rover, you can almost see through that thing. Yeah, it is glass, and they just paint right over it. These things are hand-painted. And uh, they do just a great job. Uh, I believe that's kind of like a decal on there, but a very thin decal. But just a great little addition. I don't put this out on my tree. I don't have a Charlie Brown tree or anything like that. I barely take this out of the package. Uh, but there you go. So, uh, oh, talking about that... Um, if you have any of these or you come across them, I, I'm not really sure how you tell uh, whether this is a Radco uh, ornament or not. You know, if you see some of these around in garage sales or not, uh, I, I don't really know the telltale sign on how, how to denote one. But the glass, I'm sure there's a lots and lots of glass, uh, blown glass ornament companies out there. But... Christopher was such a big name, and, and I still think he is to the day. Uh, the, his ornaments have been in the White House, the Kennedy Center, and several celebrities, and we'll do some dropping of some names here, uh, Oprah Winfrey, Elton John, Elizabeth Taylor, Maria Schreiber, Shriver, and uh, wouldn't you know it, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the biggest celebrity that's got one of these is your friend Dan Winchell. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I got one just like everybody else. That even says Land Rover on the hood there. I don't know if we can see it. It's so shiny and everything. But yeah, that is really, really cool. 
Well, there you go. One of Wednesday. Merry Christmas. Hope you folks get everything you want in your stocking stuffer and the presents under the tree if the cat hasn't knocked it over. And just a great, great holiday season. Thank you. And remember, subscribe, like, and comment down below. What do you think of this little gem? And as always, Christmas traffic. You got to keep the slow traffic to the right. And have a great Christmas, Rover Day!